Have you ever seen videos of basking sharks doing this? Here they are swimming around in a fairly tight circle in a relatively large group, but why? This odd behavior has been seen a bunch of times down the years and it's puzzled scientists who couldn't quite work out why they were doing it. Well, today I'm gonna to tell you exactly why basking sharks do this and it's pretty amazing. Welcome back to another Shark Bites episode, everyone. So we've got another basking shark episode today and I assure you it is a proper good one. Lots of you out there do enjoy the basking shark content that we have occasionally on the channel. I mean, who wouldn't? Look at this weird looking dude. So these sharks swimming around like this does look kind of strange, right? But they have a very good reason for doing it. Thankfully, a pretty awesome team of shark scientists figured it out not that long ago and shared their results with the world, and that means I can share it with you. Just a quick side note though, if I were to call this a basking shark taurus, how many of you out there would know what that means? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, as we all know, basking sharks are pretty common visitors to the UK, especially during the summer. We get them where I live in Cornwall, they're up in Scotland and in Ireland as well. And every summer people head out to try and get pictures and videos of basking sharks swimming around. But one of the best ways to watch basking sharks is from an aerial view via a drone. And there's loads of clips online of basking sharks swimming around filmed by drones. It's always absolutely stunning to watch, especially when you get a boat somewhere in the frame. And that really gives you an appreciation of how big these sharks are. Over the years, people have managed to get loads of aerial shots of basking sharks swimming around, and every now and again, this particular behavior was witnessed. It's been seen a fair few times in the Northwest Atlantic over by the US and Canada, but it's never been seen in the Northeast Atlantic. That's not to say it hasn't been happening across this side of the pond, it's just not been happening at the surface, so we might not have been able to see it. Basking sharks have been filmed before doing weird things at depth, like this strange little basking shark party happening in the early hours of the morning on the sea floor little weirdos. But as you can see in this clip, the basking sharks here are all swimming around in a fairly tight-knit circle, rotating around each other in a formation known as a torus. A torus essentially is a revolving circle in a three-dimensional space. So when we say three-dimensional there, this just means the sharks are rotating around at different levels in the water column. Initially, scientists thought this might be linked to a feeding behavior for the sharks, where they took advantage of big, dense patches of plankton. And that actually was a decent idea because these circling behaviors have been seen in other planktivorous sharks and rays. You might have seen a similar type of behavior with manta rays and whale sharks before. This is where they feed in these vortexes or cyclones and it's a pretty epic thing to witness and often happens in places like the Maldives when the conditions are just right. I mean, look at this, it looks chaotic as hell. <laughs> Anyway, often when these tauruses have been spotted, they've only been seen from an aerial view via a drone. So it's really tricky to know exactly what the sharks are doing under the surface. So the team of scientists here in Ireland decided they needed to get below the waves to find out exactly what was going on. And when they did go below, they were pretty surprised to find out these basking sharks weren't feeding at all. You can see in these shots here, the sharks have got their mouths closed. When basking sharks are feeding, it's pretty obvious as they have their mouths wide open, filtering through gallons and gallons of seawater so they can eat plankton. So if these sharks weren't feeding, what on earth were they doing? Well, the researchers had a look at the numbers of males and females within these tauruses and found out that the numbers of each sex were fairly even. And importantly, all the individuals within the taurus were deemed to be sexually mature based on their size. I think the average length for the sharks within the tauruses was around seven meters. So you've got a bunch of sexually mature male and female sharks all swimming around in a tight knit circle. I think you can probably guess what's going on here. Yeah, of course, it's a mating ritual. How cool is that? Getting the cameras under the water to film these sharks revealed even more behaviors that were probably related to mating as well. The researchers managed to film fin-on-fin -fin contact between the sharks. That's basically like first base, right? But they also managed to capture these really interesting nodding behaviors from both males and females. They're literally nodding their heads up and down and it's really purposeful. And because both the males and the females are doing it, it's almost a surefire bet that it has something to do with mating. This particular male basking shark even exposes his ventral side to an approaching female by almost doing a flip in the water. Dirty little bugger. But the researchers weren't done there. Not only did they manage to capture some of these wacky behaviors on film, they also noticed physiological changes to the shark's body color. Females were noticeably paler than male sharks when they were observed in these tauruses, which isn't something that's seen outside of a taurus. And physiological changes in body color is something that has been seen before in other shark species. It's interesting, I wonder if that great white color changing study that we did a video on here on Shark Bites has anything to do with mating. Make sure you click that link there, by the way, and give that a watch because it is pretty epic. The great whites literally changed color, it's wild. Anyway, back onto this study. The female basking sharks had pretty obvious abrasions on their pectoral fins, which is another big clue that they've been involved in mating. In sharks, the males often bite onto the pectoral fins of the females to try and position themselves a little bit better for mating, and it can lead to the females getting really scratched up. It's pretty brutal. So this discovery led the researchers to jokingly refer to this phenomenon as speed dating for basking sharks. Because of how the torus is designed, it means the sharks can mix 
mix quickly and efficiently with each other. The researchers said that in a basking shark torus of 16 individuals, all of the sharks were able to interact with each other within minutes of that torus forming, which is a pretty good thing if you're a basking shark trying to find a mate. A few head nods here, a little bit of pectoral fin touching there, and bang, you found yourself a mate, job done. It's important to point out here though, guys, the researchers didn't actually witness any mating going on within those toruses. And because of that, we can't say with 100% certainty that these toruses are to do with mating. They probably are, but we're not 100% sure. I think one of the really cool side observations though in relation to these toruses was basking shark breaching. It's long been hypothesized that basking sharks breach because of mating, but researchers were having a pretty tough time proving it. Well, in this study, basking shark breaching behavior was associated with over half of the toruses that were documented. The researchers noted basking shark breaching behavior in 10 of the 19 toruses that they saw. Now that's probably not gonna be statistically significant, but it does point towards basking shark breaching behavior having something to do with mating. Realistically, as always in shark science, it probably has multiple functions of which mating is just one of them. We did do a video here on shark bites all about why sharks breach, and there's a really cool section in that video of basking shark breaching. So make sure you stick around to the end screen of this video and give that one a watch. Okay, so some of you might be saying right now, yeah, basking sharks be doting, that's pretty cool, but what does it tell us? Well, all of these toruses happened at around the same time of year, both in Western Ireland and in Western Scotland. The study took place over the span of six years, so they were able to make a lot of good comparisons over those years. And more often than not, these toruses were occurring around the months of August and early September. So this would suggest there's an annual breeding season for basking sharks around these months, at least in those two locations anyway. The toruses don't occur in exactly the same place year on year, and that's probably got something to do with shifting temperature fronts or changes in zoo plankton densities. And because they don't happen in the same place, this does make it a little bit more challenging from a conservation perspective. But importantly, we've got the time of year and that's gonna help massively. As of currently, we don't know yet whether these basking shark tourists are overlapping with major shipping lanes. But the scientists have said that this area of the research is really important moving forwards. Because if the tourists do overlap with the shipping lanes, then fatal boat strikes on basking sharks could be even more problematic from a population perspective. If you're injuring or even killing these large sexually mature male or female basking sharks, then you're taking out the big breeders from the population. So you're gonna have population declines because of it. So as a result of this study, the scientists have recommended putting in more protections in these locations in the form of marine protected areas. And if we can protect the areas in which these tourists happen, and importantly, protect them at the right time of year, it could really help basking shark populations in the long run. And I think it's really exciting that we know now this is happening right here in the UK. I mean, at least in Ireland and Scotland anyway. Because if it's happening in those locations, you can bet that it's happening in other locations as well, like maybe Cornwall where I live or the Isle of Man. So if there's any of you out there that are hobbyist drone flyers, make sure you head to the skies this summer and keep your eyes out for basking sharks. Because footage that you get could go towards identifying areas where these sharks are mating. I think that's such a cool prospect. So if you own a drone or you know anyone on that owns a drone, make sure you send them the link to this video and tell them about the study. So earlier I briefly mentioned to you about basking shark breaching behavior and questioned what some of the reasons might be for these sharks launching themselves out of the water. Anyway, you're gonna wanna click on this video right here which explains everything you need to know about shark breaching behavior. And it even has some footage in it from a camera attached to a basking shark while it's breaching. It's insane. So go and watch it here.